Hey there folks, the Mighty Plantain here, and uh, thanks for checking out this video. We got a little device here that we picked up from, uh, from Amazon, and uh, we're going to check it out. Now, if I can maneuver these stupid scissors, I don't know why I'm trying to be so gentle and unnoisy about it. But uh, first and foremost, Quick apology to uh, Alice, a um, very lovely young lady who hooked me up with this product for the review. Um, very professional looking, she's got a LinkedIn profile and everything, and then I'm going to take this thing and, well, I'm going to be me with it. So, um, what I've got here is a set of hair clippers. Now, it's professional brand. Rechargeable professional hair clipper, ceramic cutter. Um, I was not quite able to find like a company name or a manufacturer name, so I'm gonna put the link to the product down in the video description so you guys can pick it up for yourself if you want. But it shipped out from Mr. Fox. Not kidding you. M R F U X, all caps, Mr. Fox. That's the company name that it shipped from, showing in Amazon and on the return address on the package. So, uh, I got my Mr. Fox hair clippers. Dear customer, professional men clippers, user manual, thank you so much for your order. We sincerely hope that you would be satisfied with our product and service. Satisfaction is the greatest motivation. Okay, thank you. Love it, a light that never dims. Yeah, Mr. Fox at sinacena.com. So, thank you, Mr. Fox. And, um, well, nice size comb. Got your typical assortment of blade guides here. We'll have to figure out which one. Now, the last set of clippers I bought had these, but they were adjustable. So, I'll have to figure out which one I want to use for this slightly ratty mess. Um, and see what level I want to be at. Oh, there's a brush for cleaning it. I was going to say, this has got some nice hefty weight to it, and it, it feels good in the hand. Well, that must be the ceramic clipper. Two or three speeds? One. Two? Nope, two speeds. Okay. So I assume that it didn't ship with a full charge because most things don't. So what I'm going to do here, let's set this up. Now, I'm already liking the feel of the device. Well, <laughs> whoops. Uh, that's a USB charger. So this will plug into any standard USB port, I assume. And I'm also liking the fact that this is a is a cord. The base is corded, but the charger itself is cordless. Nice little digital display. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to get it up close to the camera there, but. Um, 81, I believe, yep, yeah, power left, 81%. And a little blinking light tells me that it's charging. So that's cool. What is this? That's the, nope, that's just telling me 2.0, 1.4.8. That must be the clipper speed. All right, so. Standard comb. Mm, might work. I've got a little bit of a finer tooth one already, so I might use that instead. But I'm going to hang on to this anyway. And let's see, blade guard, six millimeter R, fifteen millimeter. L. Oh, it must be right and left for contouring. Okay, I don't get that fancy. So nine millimeter, twelve millimeter. I'm thinking the 12 or the 15, 
or maybe even the 18. What I'll have to do is take a look at the setting that I usually use on my old clippers and um, choose the appropriate blade guard based on that. And that just slides right over the top. Okay, maybe I should read the directions before I try to take this off because I could wind up <laughs> breaking it if I don't do this right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the directions, let that charge up a bit, um, go about my business until it is charged, and then I'll uh, we'll see how it works. This is going to be weird in the video with the, with the mirror. I realized I lined that up funny, but... All right, so we are um, post-workout. I'm gonna tilt this this way just a little bit. That was probably really noisy for you guys. Um, got the sink right here. I'm trying to figure out a good camera angle for this because I don't really know if the other one was working well. But anyway, um, fully charged, ready to go. And one thing I noticed is that there is a turn and click here that raises and lowers that that blade. So um, what we're gonna do, I'm pretty sure I use the nine millimeter or something similar for the mustache and um, I'm going with the largest on the beard, not the goatee, whatever, 18 millimeter. Um, now before I cut to this, I did show you guys that the guards go on, they just slide right on the top there and it turns out to get them off you just slide them up and off now this also comes off for cleaning but you want to make sure to keep your hand on this because if you just push it that's going to pop off and it's going to go flying i found that out but that pops out for cleaning you can get to the guts of the thing it comes with that little brush that i showed you before pretty handy We'll see how that holds up over time, but I think that covers most of everything. Yep, that just snaps right back in. You can probably oil it in there too. I'm gonna read the directions real quick, make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, the length of animal hair that needs to be cut can be done using the appropriate eight length combs. Okay, so animal hair. But, <laughs> well, they ain't wrong. All right. This looks pretty simple. Um, I'm just going to go for it. And I hope I picked the right lengths so that I don't... Oh, yeah, that's actually could probably go a lot lower than that on the beard. Or, I mean, on the mustache. Well, I'm getting the edges. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I go lower than that. Let's see. Uh, I'm a little nervous to go to the three, but we're going to give it a shot here and just hope that I don't completely make the thing disappear. Okay. I might edit that a bit for time, but um, that actually went through pretty smoothly without leaving behind a lot of stragglers. And this end always gives me some trouble, so um, yeah, not too bad so far. Um, the only thing I'd be disappointed in is the fact that it doesn't have a nose and ear hair trimmer, but it wasn't advertised to have one either, and for 25 bucks, you know, what do you expect? Okay, that's not taking any length off of that. So, once again, 
find myself reevaluating. So I'm going to set the three millimeter aside because that's going to be used for the mustache from now on. 18 to 15. I'm going to go to the nine. Oh, he's doing the job though. <laughs> I gotta say, um, not fucking bad. Uh, definitely gonna get a five star review on Amazon, that's for sure. Um, it it's easy to operate, it's smooth, it actually looks nice. I like the weight and the feel of it in my hand. It's not overheating or anything. Um, but that's a bad camera angle. You guys can't really see what I'm doing here, can you? But, got my two combs picked out for the future. These other guys are gonna get set aside. So, what more can I say? It, it's doing the job. It's getting things nice and even. It's going through pretty smoothly. Again, I like the weight, the feel, and the look of it. Um, I guess there's only one more thing left to check. I mean, holy shit, somebody fired the gardener. That's done it, folks. Um, it works great even in the most sensitive of areas, and um, the absence of nicks or cuts or even close calls. Um, we got ourselves a winner. Um, I might cut and edit some of the other stuff earlier for, for time on this video to keep it short and uh, I'll finish this up on my own time. At any rate, like I said, uh, it shipped by Mr. Fox. I spoke about that at the top of the video. I didn't find any more identifying information in the booklet or on the, um, the card. Uh, contact Mr. Fox at Sina, S-I-N-A dot com. So maybe that's the, the company. And I will, um, yeah, I'll be putting the five-star review up on Amazon. And I'll uh, provide a link to the product down in the video description. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Till next time.